ready for a fish. Tossing the jackhammer. And hopefully it gets jackhammered. <laughs> Where's that bait at? Right there. This is a 3 8 jackhammer, by the way. The Thunder Cricket I've been throwing is a half ounce. I feel like today's gonna be a good day. Make a cast straight out and then work my way down. I kinda gotta do that weird cast because I got a tree behind me. Don't backlash, come on, come on. That's how quick you can fix it. Use this little opening to my advantage so I can make a cast kind of. I got these trees right behind me. This is one situation where a longer rod doesn't necessarily help me, but that's okay. Gotta be able to, <laughs> gotta be able to maneuver when you're bank or boat fishing. Or just pitch it. That's also an option. I'd be a fool not to toss it in there. Now this is about to be risky. Because there's a down tree limb. I'm going to run the bait above the tree limb. Oh, that's risky. I need to get a good cast. Like this. Oh, right in front of it. Go ahead and take off the jackhammer and go back to a thunder cricket if I can get one out of the box here. Should be that one. Hey. Holy crap, that scared me. I do not think that was a carp. There we go. Had to improvise on that one. And I still got to improvise. Bayfish chased it. That's a good sign. Because you know where there's bait fish. Man, I, I got a tree, I'm telling you, two inches above my head. So I got to do these weird casts. Of course, it would get tangled. Come on. Get untangled. It's gonna be risky. <laughs> well, not risky, but if I do what I'm thinking about doing, I'm gonna go down this tree. But the risky part would be going to the left. Like this, because I think there's part of that tree hanging in. the wind take it a little bit
He just choked it. Look at this. What a catch. What a catch. I knew he'd be hiding in there. There's a three pounder. Gotta be. That got my heart going. Wow. Talk about getting your heart going, man. My hands are shaking. Go ahead and turn the scale on. Zero it. It said 0.2. I'm going to say three pounds even. What a catch, man. Three pounds, zero ounces. Yep, three pounds, zero ounces. What a catch. Wow. The way he attacked that. So one question I get asked in the comments all the time is when do I switch from a jackhammer to a thunder cricket or vice versa? And let me tell you what, I watched that fish chase it and that got my heart going. But I started with a 3 8 jackhammer and I know you can adjust the, the depth of your chatterbait, but the jackhammer was kind of running a little higher in the water than I wanted to, riding up a little higher. So I switched to the half ounce thunder cricket and I knew there'd be a fish sitting somewhere on this wood toss it in there boom one three pounder um i tried over there nothing and i saw a bunch of fish jumping and i i knew it wasn't a carp made a couple casts again like i said with the half ounce thunder cricket and another thing i get asked is what is the trailer it's a green pumpkin rage craw just uh made a couple casts nothing cast again that's why i always tell you guys keep casting to a target and this is when you're in on the bank or in the boat if you make two casts and you don't catch nothing keep going that third cast might fire that fish up. Now, granted, I know I'm right here by a down tree. That's where fish go. I get it. But when I'm bank fishing, I'll take whatever I can get, man. Like I said, I wanted that bait to go deeper, so worked out. That was a terrible cast, but that's okay, man. So a video to show when to change? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'll be honest. I think a jackhammer would have done the same thing. It was just a right place, right time thing with the bait, but cool catch, man. The way I watched him eat it was insane. Don't backlash. It's the only thing I don't like about the chatterbait fishing is sometimes like when you're using a rage crawl, your trailer will get tangled, but that's all right, man. And I'm kind of casting awkwardly because I got these trees around me. I don't know if you could see it on the GoPro, but I hope you could, man. The way that fish hit and attacked, that was insane. That'll get your heart going real quick. Holy moly. Hits the water with the bait. That fish ate it right there. That is one of the coolest things about fishing. See, that's that's why even though like I, I fish from a boat whenever I can, I go out with my friends. That's still why I bank fish, man. Cause like, even if it's just this one fish, that catch that was a that was a catch like that'll get your heart going you see that fish eat and it's a healthy fish it's a three pounder four pounder that right there is one of the reasons why i fish man i mean i make videos i'm growing my brand for sure but something like that holy moly now, if only i could quit this awkward casting because all these trees are on me but hey that's okay you got to do it sometimes when you want to get to these areas